Top 10 Lesbian Movies of 2021 Hello and welcome back to Superstar Tense. Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Keep your eyes here now. We have Top 10 Lesbian Movies of 2021 10. Ride or Die This is my favorite two and a half hour bourgeois betrayal lesbian murder drama that dropped the needle of Dr. Nora Jones. Based on the popular manga Gunjo, Ryuichi Hiroki directed a crazy and free lesbian movies that he wanted to be Benedetta. Do you need to make it so long? Probably not. However, the compatibility between the first 30 minutes and the last 30 minutes between Kiko Mizuhara and Hona Ikoka is enough to justify the rest of the trip. 9. Tove This biography of Moomin creator Tove Jansen is relatively simple but enhanced by casual gay anxiety and Alma Poisty's powerful core performance. She follows Jensen struggling between her desire to be a serious artist and her growing Moomin fame. In the meantime, she has a series of relationships with peoples of the opposite sex, seeking a truly free life. That freedom is felt especially in the party scenes that welcome us into Jensen's Bohemia. 8. Shiva Baby the more I thought about Shiva Baby, the more I thought about the actual baby. At first, the crying was just sound design, another unsettling component in this claustrophobic non-horror horror movie. But a baby is in sound design. A baby is a human being. A responsibility, a stage of heteronormative development. On the surface, Emma Seligman's acclaimed debut is a very well-made movie about an insufferable soon-to-be college graduate who doesn't want a full-time job. But the more I thought about the baby crying, the more I realized what Danielle is running away from. 7. The Mitchells vs. The Machines Disney still boasts all its gay moments and hasn't given Elsa a girlfriend. But Sony and Netflix have brought us this funny, emotional and fun, imaginative queer kids movie, Bricefield. Katie Mitchell is a teenage filmmaker who is willing to flee from her town where no one understands her and go to film school to find her people. Unfortunately, her plans get interrupted by her dad. Oh, and the robot apocalypse. As a former queer teen who left her family to go to film school, this movie hit me hard. I love Katie's journey towards accepting her biological family while still knowing she has a chosen family out there she needs to. 6. Passing there's a distance and a hyper-stylization to these adaptations of Nella Larson's masterpiece. Every choice Rebecca Hall makes as a director and writer is deliberate. Some, such as the casting, to make the story feel current. Others, such as the dialogue, 4 by 3 aspect ratio, and a black and white photography, to pull the story back to the past. This is a film of contradictions, somehow both cold and sensual. It emphasizes the queer subtext of the novella without making it more explicit. 5. The Strings More Chantal Ackerman than your average cabin in the woods thriller. Cinematographer Ryan Glover's directional debut is art house horror with an emphasis on the art house. And yet the deliberate pace is manageable when the form and subjects are this compelling. The movie follows Catherine, a queer musician isolated at a remote cabin after a breakup. A breakup and a band breakup. Catherine is played by musicians Tegan Johnston who wrote the film's songs. 4. Wheel of Fortune and Fantasy The first short story in Ryusuke Hamaguchi's triptych is called Magic. It's a fitting subtitle for a movie that's technically a series of realist conversations yet somehow crackles with the energy of an epic fairy tale. These are love stories, lust stories, stories of regret. They feel so regular until they feel like so much more. All three sections of the movie are beautiful, but it's the last section, the gay section that founds a home in my heart and refuses to leave. 3. The Fear Street Trilogy If the Fear Street Trilogy had simply been a horror pastiche starring my trinkets fave Kiana Madeira, I would have been thrilled. If it had simply centered around two pairs of angsty teen lesbians three centuries apart, I would have been delighted. If it had been simply well-made and a whole lot of fun, I would have been satisfied. And yet… And yet, what makes the Fear Street trilogy go from a solid good time to a masterful cinematic event is its understanding that intelligence and fun are not antithetical. Like my other favorite horror trilogy, Slumber Party Massacre, Fear Street doesn't make us choose between campy horror or an engagement with reality. It's proof that good politics are also good storytelling. 2. Titan Car fucking, the Macarena, the metal hairpin, the bathroom sink transformations, the roommate slaughter. Julia Durkunau's Titan is a film that invented its mythology. So many details and moments demanded a place in our collective film consciousness 
the Titan's deepest achievements are found in the subtleties. 1. The Novice Before writing and directing her masterful debut, Lauren Hathaway worked in sound. Her impressive resume includes movies such as Whiplash, Selma, The Hateful Eight, and Justice League. Once you know this, it makes sense why her film's rowing gets stuck in your head like a pop song. Legs, body arms, arms, body legs. It's dialogue as rhythm, thoughts as rhythm, mental illness as rhythm. This film is not about novice rower Alex Dahl as much as it is her. The movie's sound design and score, along with accomplished cinematography and editing that knows when to cut and when to hold. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any amazing video from us.